Hey, I will install a new contract source server. Only this time I will use <coughs> a Linux based operating system called Sorin OS 7. It's based on Ubuntu uh, 14.04, uh, the 64 bit version. Okay, so <coughs> what I will do is uh, to use my website uh, as usual. I wrote together a guide and uh, we will use that to install the server. Uh, only first I will show you that uh, you actually can uh, use script, some scripts that I wrote together here. If you download, uh, you know, if you go to the downloads page and download my scripts pack uh, that I wrote together, you will get the uh, run script that will run uh, stop and update your server and a, a script that will install the server for you so you don't need to watch this clip if you don't want to you can just go here download the script files chmodem and uh, uh, use the install script okay I will use the guide that I work together and you can find the guide on my guides uh, page here I will link to this page and uh, to the guide as well and the guide will look like this and the first thing you will need to do if you are 64 on a 64 bit uh, operating system like I am you will need to go to this link here and it will lead to this page here uh, if you scroll down to the very bottom here you can you will find how to install the uh, 32 bit libraries that you will need to run uh, a 32 bit application like Steam CMD uh, for Debian and Ubuntu Mint. You will use uh, the apt get command, and if you get an error, you can fix it here. And for Red Hat and uh, Fedora and CentOS, you will use this command here and for us you can use this okay we will use the guide now to install so the first thing you will do is to create two new folders in your home drive like that and then you will want to download steam cmd and I will show you where you do that and just paste the files in here and you can download steam cmd here and then you will ex extract it like I did you can also use this command to um, download the file uh, if you are on server you need to use the commands you can use the uh, file browser okay and now you will chmod all the files in steam cmd and uh, for that I will open the terminal window paste this command press enter and it's done okay next thing we will uh, now we will start steam cmd and then we will cd to steam cmd folder and run the executable sh like that and now it will download updates for itself for steam cmd and then when we are at the steam prompt we will log in we will force the installer to this to css ds and then we will uh, run the command app update to uh, update the application for the construct source. Uh, so what we will do now is to log in. Press enter. Okay, success. And I forgot the dot in front. And then up underscore up date three twenty three thirty. 
and 23, 23, 30 is for contract source and you have another one for CSGO and I will show that in the future so now it will uh, download the server and um, I'm going to pause the video here and then I will come back when it's ready everything is now downloaded and <coughs> we can uh, exit out of steam like that and then we will uh, the download my scripts uh, I did it in the start of this video and I have them in my home drive right now I will just ch mod them and then I will use uh, the run script what happened now? Uh, okay I will use the run script to run the server uh, okay like that and open the terminal again and paste this code here uh, okay I need to cd back to my home directory and then we'll use the run script to uh, start server but first you need to install uh, the screen and you can do it with this command under Debian, Ubuntu, Mint or Sorin OS 7 as I use. Uh, if you are using Fedora or CentOS you can use the yum uh, command, the yum install screen. Uh, I will use the run CSS Linux start uh, to start the server and that command will start the server in a new screen session that's why you need to install screen okay and that it and it will say starting as a for construct source type screen and the screen name to view the console or press and press control uh, and a and d together to detach okay so we will do that we will type screen dash x uh, css underscore ds and then we uh, are attached to the server console and then we can type uh, status and the stats okay and to find out which map it the server is running and on the IP and uh, how many players you can have on the server and you can change that in my script as well no problem uh, control A and D together will detach and the next thing you can do not so much uh, okay um, <coughs> uh, if you want to have the server fully public so anyone can connect to it you will need to uh, do a port forward on your router if you don't know what the port forward is you can go to this link here and it will take you to the port forward dot com uh, website and <coughs> to the router index site and in on here it is um, many router brands uh, listed and you can just go into one and uh, read how you can port forward your own router okay thanks for watching